today we're going to be doing two things we're going to be updating you guys on the revival of cities event our alliance our account progress etc and then we're going to go ahead on a little killing spree because we've got less than seven hours left of the kill event and i want to take advantage of that time to smack some people around so let's jump into it first let's take a look at the alliance here okay we've got seven territories they are all pretty high level at this point we've got a couple of starting levels that aren't super high selvins potomoy we took these from arc now the thing is uh since blue took the world heart specifically um the max alliance they've sort of issued demands for the map to be split up amongst the three factions relatively fairly and i think that's a good step that's a good step in the right direction obviously having a healthy server where players feel like they can be and in, in any faction uh is always a good thing for the health of the server so right now what we're seeing is uh sort of some uh, some alliances dropping cities and trading cities with each other so that way you know we're sort of abiding by the rules of the server there's also a lot of talk in discord of like which cities people deserve to take which alliances should take which cities based on not only their strength but their contribution and things along those lines so while the map is significantly blue and green right now I'm sure red will get a couple of cities here on the map very soon and most likely the cities we currently own will probably be shifted around in the next uh day or two so we'll have to wait and see how those things change as far as an update for my immortals we haven't done this in a video or two so I figured I would give you guys a little bit of an update I'm still rocking the uh earth March primarily that's mainly because it's just taken so long to get skills on Khan uh, that I feel like maybe it's just better to keep focusing on Earth obviously we do have Elizabeth Bathory now who is at five skill stars so that's one thing that I could use her instead of Khan until Khan is good um Khan should be at five stars very soon within the next day probably around uh reset I'll get the bundle and then tomorrow so I don't know um we could be shifting to lightning very soon um and if that's the case obviously I'll probably have to reborn some of my water immortals and focus a lot more of the experience tombs over to lightning and we'll test out that composition and see how that goes I've invested a little bit more on the skills for some of these guys here so you can see we're up to level six and seven for some of these skills we've got all level six for Cleopatra we've got the classic toxin and fire Novas over here with concentration for extra magical damage we have Charles I just slapped on basically the two defensive uh elite skills here um physical shield and magical shield I feel like physical shield is a little bit more important right now I feel like a lot of players are using teams that are fully physical offense right like you look at the lightning March I mean even the water March for example if you have Harold Ramses or even if you have Attila front row and then you have Yoshitsune back row that's all physical damage aside from Merlin if you take a look at the earth team it's sort of split 50 50 so that's you know that's one thing but overall I would say uh I mean you know with things like Elizabeth Bathory and focus on some of the late game immortals it just seems like right now physical defense is a little bit more important which is why that's a higher level uh, and then we focused a little bit more on uh healing here for Zenobia I don't really know what I want to do with Zenobia skills I feel like if I invest too heavily in them uh and then I switch to lightning it's sort of a waste so I'm not really sure we're going to kind of just leave her as it is um but you could see here um I've sort of given up on my water immortals I still want to max out Merlin he's just got really good AoE damage uh but other than that I'm not super interested in the water uh immortals at this point we have maxed out Yi Song Ye we have Richard very close to being maxed he's like 30 away not even 20 away um Peter the Great is going to be a little bit tricky he's definitely the most rare of these uh three that you can get from Philosopher's Stone summons so there's that we have Gilgamesh making really good progress on him very close to maxing him out which is really nice um we've got some on El Cid just because I don't really know what else to get with my daily bundles um so I'm getting El Cid as well uh we haven't gotten rid of William William is sort of like the uh, Peter the Great of the Fire March so if I do eventually want to build the Fire March I want William and because he's so rare I've just been buying up his his shards when I see him uh, but ultimately not really worth it uh we've sort of dismantled our fire team for right now because I'm just focused on one or two uh, armies at this point um and that's sort of the progress that we have made here we've got pretty much all purple sets here except for a couple of uh equipment pieces on Zenobia which I'm having trouble getting to drop from the gnomes but either way uh all level 34 nice looking stuff here 
um probably gonna get rid of med b soon she's very strong with magical damage which is definitely true however um you know with my elizabeth bathory being such a high skill level i feel like if i won a powerful um shadow back row it's gonna be her right so i don't know it's hard to say uh, the skills that we have on her i don't really know where else to put them though so I, that's why i haven't done it just yet we are castle 31 now i did sort of rush to tier four units and from there uh things have gotten really expensive really quickly um same thing with the dragons i'm focusing a little bit on the lightning dragon now uh just to sort of see where we end up i'm hoping that we get a dragon bundle showing up in the shop soon so i can uh sort of speed that up without using universal speed ups but yeah we're we're castle 31 um we've got academy 28 tower of knowledge 30 um all these are 30 obviously because we have tier 4 units uh hospital 30 and uh that's pretty much it I need to focus more on my resource production buildings at this point you can see I'm building my uh dwelling 29 I'm very far behind with my dwelling buildings right now taking a look at the power rankings here of the server you can see max is sitting at number one by a hefty chunk which is really interesting um we got a lot of strong blue players up here which does not surprise me at all this is their first time playing infinity kingdom for many of them so that makes a lot of sense we're chilling at rank 46 um in blue in green we are 21 so we've got some real strong players here in green still so uh it's it's good to see that i love to see it strongest true power makes a lot of sense we see a lot of blue up here as well um uh, red is very very uh, non-existent pretty much uh worthy is 31 which is impressive um really what you can see here is a lot of these japanese players are super strong it seems like they jumped into infinity kingdom understood the game pretty quickly and they uh they're really loving it i mean it seems like they're really loving it obviously we do have a lot of uh international players here as well like you know with gaming myself there's a lot of people here who aren't in japan but you can see that for for a japanese server like it is primarily japanese and i think that they're really enjoying it which is cool I love to see that I love to see that the health of the game is is good <laughs> now really quick before we jump into the kill event I just want to remind you guys that you can still join the revival of cities server here in infinity kingdom you can play with me Wick gaming other content creators there will be a link in the description below make sure you click that link give infinity kingdom a try if you haven't all right with that out of the way let's go ahead and melt some people so what we're gonna do here is uh we're gonna be teleporting in and we're gonna defeat some of these guys it looks like they're I guess hiding around their city I guess which is not a good strategy during a kill event so it just real quick before we jump in and start killing stuff okay I want you guys to know that like for kill event for King of the Hill um this is usually most servers will just let this be a free-for-all right they'll just be like hey for two days like everyone's gonna kill everybody and don't take it personally pretty much um obviously it depends on your kingdom so you have to keep uh, pay attention to kingdom males but that seems to be the case that uh that that's what we're gonna go with for right now for this kingdom uh or this server but your server may be different just keep that in mind it depends on what server you're playing on and some servers really uh you know they control this event others just kind of let people go crazy uh and so for us we're gonna go crazy so it's it's not uh again it's not anything personal it's not like I don't like this uh this alliance or whatever the case might be it's just they're unbubbled during a kill event and they're all close by and like that's just the number one way to ensure that you get burned so with that being said uh let's make sure that things are the way that we want them to be as far as threat level it looks like whoa this is going to be like the main uh main guy here 31k strongest true power shouldn't be an issue for us what do we got over here we've got uh 28 so yeah th these guys should be relatively easy to take down especially if they're offline and they don't realize what's gonna happen right now uh so let's go ahead and see how this goes I mean this is this kind of like a live reaction here so um we're gonna just teleport in right next to the strong guy and uh we'll we'll take it from there um I'm thinking right here is good because then I can kind of hit these guys a little bit oh actually you know what no yeah this is good I'm gonna go here um oh let me put some buffs on my city first before we do that um and also I'm gonna put probably mm, I'm gonna put something in my garrison just so that way like a weak player can't force teleport me I think that's probably a good strategy um obviously it's gonna lead to extra deaths if I get hit by a powerful player but you know let's go ahead and do that my weakest army is 46k stronger than their strongest armies so should be fine should be fine we'll do that and then we'll uh we'll put some buffs on us let's go back to that little hive there so let's do um attack we're gonna do defense we're gonna do crit and we're gonna do dodge this is just to sort of minimize the amount of uh deads that we take here and we're just gonna boom we're just gonna do it and we're just gonna start attacking like that's pretty much it we should change our um uh what is it we should change our talents so let's go ahead and do that really quick uh let's confirm that and uh what are we looking at here you know what we don't really need to worry about those 
um let's just go ahead and keep attacking um we'll do this because that's their strongest player um is there more talents over here that we can add save that boom and let's go ahead and keep attacking so let's use that and we should be fine so let's see here um do we have a weaker player let's see let's attack this guy with our weaker March just because we want to maximize the amount of uh you know we don't want to spend too much time here right the longer we spend attacking these players the higher the probability somebody comes in to try to stop us so um let's see here we've got uh, 194 232 this guy's closer to us so we're just gonna go with that so hopefully uh that goes well we'll uh, refill that bada bing bada boom okay things are going well Ooh, we're barely taking losses these guys definitely don't have a garrison so that is great news for us um we're gonna get a lot of prosperity here I think zero troop losses from this guy right here makes sense to me obviously I'm I I, I kind of feel bad I'm like bullying this guy I way overpower them so that makes that makes sense so all right uh troops are coming back we're doing fine let's go ahead and attack them I'm not really interested in using this skill right now it just doesn't seem worth it so we're just gonna keep uh we're just gonna keep it going here and you know again there's there's a little bit of a language barrier here hopefully these players understand that this is not uh anything personal we are just we're just playing the game okay we're just playing the kill event that's that is what it is uh let's go ahead and attack this guy next and I just want to see this says um before battle deals damage equal to 7.5 percent of your max HP to a random mortal in the back row um you know what let's use it actually yeah let's go ahead and use uh I don't think we need it I don't think we need it in case somebody stronger comes around um what do we got over here 150 172 strongest troop power for him is 21 that's going to be pretty easy I think we can use our second uh, March over here should be good we should be able to clear these guys out um shouldn't be a big deal Ooh, not even a single troop loss there we love to see it so that's some free prosperity I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna like that that's gonna look real nice um 25 troop loss over here not a big deal um definitely feel a little bit bad for bullying these guys but uh hey they're offline no bubble grouped together during a kill event like those are the biggest mistakes you can sort of make um when you know when offline right so it is what it is uh we're gonna just go for it and you know if they get upset then we'll have to just explain to them sort of what kill event is all about uh because plenty of our players have been getting attacked during kill event I tried to send out an alliance mail letting people know like yo uh be careful bubble up if you're going offline don't hive together uh those sorts of things and you know some players understand that some players don't understand that uh some, some players maybe didn't get the message before they got hit um and that's just unfortunate but we're making work here we're doing work we're doing what we got to do okay we're doing what we have to do uh it's a war game at, after all right it's a war game so you know hey you got to expect stuff like this this is gonna happen all right we force teleported that guy out so uh we're, we're working on it we're doing well here we're gonna go ahead and attack him with this guy next uh this you know we're kind of just going from the bottom up with our second march and uh we're just really trying to force this guy out of here man this is taking forever man this is taking forever so uh let's see here there we go 50 troop loss nothing crazy there nothing crazy how does our uh, hospital look right now 23 minutes we'll just start it up why not why not no big deal let's go ahead and continue attacking this guy um and boom make sure we're refilled uh gonna have to hit him one more time here that's unfortunate but it is what it is uh let's go ahead and see oof we are just melting them we are just melting them and as you can see here we're getting those rewards for the king of the hill which we like to see um what's this guy's prosperity looking like pretty sweet and boom force teleported get out of here boys get out of here dude all right so let's take a look at the strongest true power this is 21 what do we got over here what do we got over here we've got 23 so we're actually going to switch targets we're going to hit him with our strongest march now and uh we're going to hit him with our second march that's going to be the way we do this case uh this guy has a garrison over here I mean and I don't know it doesn't really matter I would like to see this prosperity go down a little bit quicker I feel like I'm using a lot of uh a lot of AP on these guys um uh, but it, it's nice it's not what there's like five five four teleports or something like that so pretty cool pretty good stuff like to see it um let me see what we've got going on over here not that much prosperity taken away unfortunately let's go ahead and do that hopefully that's the last hit on them and we should be good I don't know how much um, maybe not maybe not enough I don't know we'll see um but hey let's see what we can do if this is gonna deal a lot and 4k we did force teleport them so that is good 35 attacks later we are good we got a new nobility promotion 
Baron level three. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. Okay. Let's see it. There it is. Baron three, baby. So if you guys didn't know when you are fighting other players and you're, you're taking their, uh, prosperity, your, their, the honor, right? Uh, you're getting extra bonuses here as you rise through those ranks. So the strong, the more players you defeat, the stronger you become, the more your max troop number. So there is definitely an incentive to, uh, sort of slay players across the map. So yeah, if you guys have been pretty passive throughout the, uh, event or throughout your server, then just keep that in mind. You probably want to start trading kills. Let's see if we can find more people to take down. I feel bad, but I got to do it to him. Oh, who do we go for? Oh my goodness. There's so many people here. This is like, I, 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 oh God. I want to kill all of them. I just want to kill all of them. Holy smokes. And boop. Here we are, boys. Let's go in, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's kill him. Hey, kill him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's kill him with with a fire. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should be attacking the same city with both marches so I can force them out faster. That's probably a better strategy, huh? You guys are probably watching this like, damn, Omni is a noob. Why is he spreading his marches out? You gotta, you gotta force. Hey, there it is there it is oops what am i doing let's hit him let's bada bing bada boom get him out of here okay get him out of here all right let's see let's hit the level uh let's hit the level 12s next we're just picking on these poor kids feeling a little bit bad about it but you know what it is what it is okay it is what it is let's uh let's see what we got to do here to get him out of here boom one more attack on this guy and we should be gucci we should be gucci all right boom there it is uh, we probably should be doing the primary hit with our with our strong march and then clean it up with the secondary but whatever man it's, it's fine it's probably fine it's probably fine let's just go ahead and send him out uh do some work do some damage you know do some murdering we love to do some murdering around here so just boom we're, we're gonna we're just gonna end them we're two shot in these kids we're, we're we're making fun of them hey this guy plays our okay it looks like we're gonna have to defeat him um ooh, let's let's go ahead and get some more ap boom 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 it is time to melt this player base okay uh what do we what do we got around here should we hit this guy he's level two i feel like that would be kind of rude uh everyone else here has got a basic lord uh, name i feel like i probably shouldn't probably shouldn't hit them it's not really worth the ap you know what i'm saying uh this guy could be worth it he's a little far out he's a little bit deep uh let's see should we do it i guess so might as well we're here right let's go ahead and launch a uh a nice little invasion on this guy okay we're gonna we're gonna just crumble his walls all together easy peasy lemon squeezy we're just gonna watch here as the devastation unfolds across the land omni arc teleporting around just letting people know what's gucci you know what i'm saying but hey we're doing work over here we could see our, our troops just sprinting across the battlefield like the absolute savages that they are covered in green looking like freaking link you know looking like uh looking like robin hood over here okay we're gonna we're gonna keep doing some work um let's see we're gonna have to hit this guy with our main army and then we'll uh we'll go ahead and hit this guy with our secondary army once he's back and then uh that should be that should be it we should be uh golden after that oof a total of six losses oh my god that prosperity is so low it's not even worth it it's not even worth it this guy's not getting forced teleported out we're fine we'll, we'll just let him be we'll leave him chilling we'll leave him chilling not worth it man not worth it all right let's see how this guy handles it and boom we took almost half of it right there which is nice we'll send our main on march over there we'll see if we can clean him up with one more hit and then uh we'll, we'll work on this guy and then we'll probably be out of here you know what I don't, i'm gonna take out my garrison for this guy because it's not even worth it i feel like we're chilling over here if anyone teleports in they're gonna be able to kill me anyway so it's fine let's just send our uh our third mar march over there and oh my god did he not get oh my god it's so little it's such a small amount it's just principle it's like i want to teleport him out but i don't but if he if i don't teleport him out he doesn't get the free resources for the four barons so it really actually is pretty devastating to leave him with that little amount and not actually teleport him but hey whatever man it should be good let's see if we can take this guy out with two hits i doubt it uh, but we'll, we'll see. Let's see. We got two armies right here, back to back. We'll see if we can take out air and poop. Oh, 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 baby. A triple. Just kidding. That was a double, but it's fine. It's fine. We got him. We got him out of here, boys. Okay. We teleported him and now we just sit here and we wait, we wait for this, uh, for this rage to go down and then we should be, we should be chilling. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. I got to hit this guy. I got to hit this guy. I'm sorry. I do. He's got so much prosperity and his strongest true power is so low. I just, I have to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I got to do it. We got to do it to him. We're just going to send three armies at him. We'll see how it goes. It might take a little bit for them to uh, get there, but it should be fine. Oh, they coming. 
Oh, they coming, baby. They are coming. Let's go. All right. And he's got no idea. We got a whole freaking army hitting my mans. He's got, ooh, it's going to take more than three. It's going to take more than three to teleport him out. That's for sure. Oof. And, ooh, so close. We were so freaking close, man. It's fine. It's fine. We got a lot of prosperity from that guy. So uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave him at the 900 he's got left. It'll be fine. I honestly didn't even get that many resources from these hits. I feel like it just wasn't even that much, man. All right, boys, we did some hunting. Okay. We did some sniping. We did some, we did some killing in this video. Um, it's not something that I do often here in infinity kingdom, but it, it's kill event. Okay. And I feel like we had to get some of that footage here for the channel, for the, uh, for the event revival of cities. Again, as a quick reminder, there will be a link in the description to join the revival of cities server here in infinity kingdom. Make sure you go ahead and click that and give the game a try. I mean, what are you waiting for? The game is free. Go ahead and give it a try. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, obviously for more infinity kingdom content. Um, I would love to hear from you guys what you want to see next here for Infinity Kingdom and for this Revival of Cities event. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates on how this server is playing out. I'm sure there is more to come. Of course, drop a thumbs up on the video. It helps out the channel a ton. It helps get this video out into the algorithm so other Infinity Kingdom players might see it. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.